second time to an Arctic fox as we're getting cold here. They can keep that outdoor exhibit open mm -hmm. <laughs> as the temperatures drop. And Elsa's just cozy in her 40, 30, 20 degree weather. Right. I mean, and a lot of people are, are wondering when are we going to flip that switch? Right? Yeah. You know, I mean, it's. It hasn't been warm. It's been very fall like, though. And well, we had no snow in November, and we true. do usually have at least a day of snow, uh, right? Yeah, like and our have first an accumulation of some kind. Our first average snow, even if it's of lighter accumulation, measurable snow, and that could be a trace or a, a few tenths of an inch or something yeah. like that, is usually around this week. It's closer to Thanksgiving, end of November. Okay. Uh, haven't gotten there yet, but there are some signs that I think we're going to get maybe some accumulation, although. The trends have been kind of getting lower and lower and lower. Big reason for that, Brenna, and we'll kind of walk you through this, is mm -hmm. it's probably still going to be above freezing when we start seeing snow here with this next system. And the ground's still pretty warm. So it might not stick. Right. I mean, you'll have some stick, but not a ton. So let me kind of walk you through this. Kind of a complicated forecast here. Quiet conditions here this morning. That's downtown near the North Split. We're moving along A-OK. -okay. No visibility issues. No precip to worry about here this morning. And we are just seasonably chilly. We're at 30 right now. Winds are out of the west northwest at six miles per hour. I don't think winds will be much of an issue. Should see plenty of sunshine as we start rolling through the morning hours. 33 at 9 o'clock to 36 at 10 and 38 at 11 o'clock this morning. It's 29 in Kokomo, 33 in Muncie, 28 in South Bend, 30 in Bloomington. And right around freezing in places like Washington and down in French Lake. I don't see any major issues. I do think we're a bit cooler today compared to yesterday's high of 50. 31 at 8 o'clock to 41 at noon and 47 by around 5 o'clock um, later on this afternoon. 48 in South Bend, 45 in Fort Wayne. Could get as mild as 51 off the lake in Chicago. 48 in Columbus and in Bloomington, 50 down in Louisville and Evansville and nearing 50 degrees down in Cincinnati right around 49 for your high. I do think we'll see an increase in cloud cover, but daytime hours are dry tomorrow. We're near freezing to start things off in the morning. 44 at noon and 48 will be your afternoon high. And again, wind's not much of an issue. I do think we'll have some precip chances sliding in here as early as very late Sunday night. I think it's going to start as rain. And this is where we start to throw in maybe some snow chances here to open up the work week. So let me just take a lot of time here and walk you through the process on Storm Track 8 Futurecast. Again, no problems today, no problems during the day tomorrow. So we're just going to scoot right along. Now, this is early Monday morning. I mentioned there could be some rain chances late Sunday night. Very isolated, but you're starting to see this more robust system. It's going to be merging with an upper level system, and that's going to be bringing in some very chilly Canadian air. So these meshing together will likely put us right on a line here. But we think, as of right now, the bulk of Indiana for Monday is going to be mainly in the snow category. Now, I think it could be a bit of a wintry mix maybe early on Monday morning. So will there be a ton of snow or a lot of snow on the ground when you're driving into work? My, my thinking right now is probably not, but visibilities might be a bit of a concern. So I want the key takeaway points here. I think both the morning and evening drive are going to be at least messy. Uh, visibilities could be low in the morning. You may have some snow on the ground for the evening drive. So here we go with Futurecast. You can see the steady snow showers through lunchtime. Now it's not the entire state. And the trends in our model projections have continued to push this a little bit farther to the east. Now of, of recent maybe couple of runs, they're kind of holding here. So we're feeling a little more confident, but not where we'd like to be at this point in the game. Uh, we do think this system will then start to scoot slowly to the east by Monday night. You'll get some lake effect snow bands. You've got a real strong pool coming into the north. It's going to make for a very blustery Monday in addition to some of that snow that's going to be flying around. And I think we could still have some uh, lingering snow showers around heading into Tuesday morning before we dry out by Tuesday afternoon. So early stab at this forecast. And again, my confidence isn't super high. This may get, I would lean this probably a little bit lower, maybe in some updates as opposed to uh, getting a bit higher. But here in much of the metro, I think we're less than an inch. You get southeast of Indianapolis, we're probably looking at one to two inches. And the heavier snow rates are going to be around Richmond and just east of Connersville, two to three inches of snowfall, I think is where we're going to end up. Here are the key takeaways. Rain Sunday night, 
Changes to snow by Monday morning. We've got real blustery winds. Could see gusts over 40 miles per hour. And then some of those lake effect snow bands on Tuesday could add to some of the totals just a little bit. Not going to be a super big snow. It is the first one of the season, though. And we always know that that does cause some issues when you're traveling. Just kind of keep that in mind. Chapman heated and cooling eight day forecast 38 on Monday. It is going to come with much colder air and we are very confident about that. 33 with flurries on Tuesday, 38 Wednesday. We only bump up to near 40 then for Thursday, Friday and Saturday. All right, sunshine. We'll take it.